So we're in Oudtoren. I'm driving the Renault Kaige. If you've seen my post by now, I'm, I've got the Renault Kaige in um, the intense model, uh, manual transmission. And yeah, we took, brought it to Oudtoren. It's my first uh, kind of friend's trip, I think. So far, actually, we've only been going out with family. Um, now that we're COVID. And yeah, we, at, we're staying at a place called El Dorado Park. And yeah, I thought I'll just have a quick vlog about the car and like talk about the vehicle. Um, so we're gonna head into the vehicle now and then talk about actually like what it's been like on the long road, consumption, uh, the sports mode, and maybe get opinions of my best friend, he, um, yeah, he's actually um, into cars, he's not, yeah, he's an auto electrical uh, technician and yeah, he's got a workshop. So if you do want to fix your car, you can go to All Car Electric uh, in Woodstock, Cape Town. And then tell him, you, uh, <laughs> tell him I'm your plug. <laughs> my name is Muhammad Fakir and welcome to my channel. Outside, like, on of the of the town. Now we're in. And it's, um, no, 30 um, seconds, 30 seconds at the time. Landscape 4K30. Oh, my word. Okay. Why didn't you even blow in a villa? Okay, so we are driving in Oudtshoorn now. As you can see, that's Renault Oudtshoorn. And I showed you earlier, we're driving the Renault, Ka Renault Kaige. Renault, Renault, I don't know how you want to say it. Um, yeah, okay, so I mentioned to you, obviously, we're driving. It's the first time I think we're on a friend's trip. So far, we've only gone with family, like I mentioned earlier. So this is India, I spoke about earlier. He's not much on social media, actually, so he's quite... I think he's, he's a bit camera shy, but he's, he used to be quite a poser back in the day. Um, this is the manual transmission just like the one in my review so this is more of a vlog type of video of course um, and yeah, so I actually didn't film yesterday we were uh, we drove around four and a half hours we started at two on a Friday so we actually just came like 430 odd kilometers um, for the weekend which yeah sounds a bit crazy but I mean it's like uh, you have a car so a holiday car so why not um, the car like I showed you earlier, uh, it has the eco and the sport and the normal mode. And I've been, I've, I have was driving, I must say now that I have, obviously it's a long term review. If I, what I can mention about the car is driving on eco on the long road is not, it's, it's obviously nice if you are, um, if you are on the highways, but with, for economy, but with, it lacks obviously the power and the turbo for this one litre engine you obviously wanted to kick in all the time so I did actually drive normal and sport uh, a bit more especially on the implants and the appeal um, yeah I don't know what was it like sitting at the back in the ass? very spacious relaxing spacious yeah okay and relaxing because you drive a lot but um, yeah but I mean spacious like what do you, what do you mean when you say spacious like what do you mean about yeah, spacious? Yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah, go. You don't have to act. What do you mean about spa What do you there's mean a, about there's spacious? There's a lot of leg room. Yeah. You know, some cars we when you sit in the back, you feel very cramped. And what? And actually, you you obviously I mentioned like about all car electric. Yeah. Now, so you work on cars. Now, what did what did you what what price did you think the car wa would be? To be honest, I thought it was about four hundred. Yeah. And so actually if you would, do you know watch the review when you're watching this vlog because you're obviously interested in people yeah. <laughs> um, this car starts at 199,000 rand and that is like really cheap because you can buy it for, from I mentioned in the review like from 2,599 rand per month it's basically and, a giveaway and that is really affordable especially because of the economy um, yeah so I mean you at, at the first time I filled the tank uh, it costs about 700 and 30. We're driving past the Kango Ranch now. We are off to Buffalo's Rift. Um, if you know Buffalo's Rift or you go through my Instagram feed, you will see um, Buffalo's Rift. You can like feed the elephants and like a horse safari drive. And also, like, you can have milk chicks there and lunch or whatever. Like, on the it's like a look, a not a like, I don't know what the difference is between a lake or whatever, but it's like a small... What, what, what do you call it? A water hole. Yeah. A water hole. 
now I'm gonna show you it now. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So it's a wood owl, and then yeah, yeah. and this yeah. is the Kangaroo Ranch. Okay, so change of plan. We are, as you can see, at the Kango Ranch. So Hanan here at the back, and Jazz's wife wasn't at uh, the Kango Ranch before. So we're gonna take her there, and then go to move, move to Buffalo's Drift a bit later. But uh, India asked me now um, while while we <laughs> while we were driving, he asked me like, when I say I'm gonna show this here, and then does that mean I'm just gonna put the photo or something? And so I was saying yes. But it does now. What do you actually? What do you? What do you think of the, the like this vlogging? Uh, what do you think That's of bad. the whole, like when you watch like, it like on other people's channels and stuff like that? You don't actually see how much effort they have to put in to it. Yeah. Now and I think also basically people think everything that like the editing and everything you basically do on um, like I mean YouTube all of that stuff. Like that's how I learned how to do everything. I'll, um and then yeah so that's quite a it's it's not easy um but also uh, i realized now i didn't introduce i mentioned earlier so my wife is the back navila and then hannah and cynthia's wife there at the back and people might say oh why do little ladies sit in front muslims and all this stuff you know but anyway it's just because <laughs> Exactly. India is speaking, so obviously yeah. the ladies are at the back, um, not in front, yeah. So just in case, I just thought I'll mention that because you don't know what comments can come. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get out here and then go and have a look at the kangaroo ranch. <laughs> So, so Nabila, what is what is it actually like to have a husband as a YouTuber? Uh, sometimes it's tiring. It's tiring. Not all the time. Oh. but she enjoys the park, so like driving in the cars. That's mm -hmm. that's quite fun. Um, we have to wait under the palm tree. Yeah, we are there under the palm tree. Where's the palm tree? Uh, there's a shop here in Tia's name or buying something. Uh, I don't think I want anything to eat. Oh, maybe I should maybe I should get me something to drink. Anyway, we're gonna go see the cats now, so Day two, um, and we're obviously going home now. So, packing in, and actually, this is what I want to talk about for the price. And obviously, it's an entry level vehicle, it has 405 liters of boot capacity, and that has like made this car super useful. Um, maybe you want to switch the wide, the wide lens quickly. So, if you can see, actually, we have two small suitcases, like proper luggage bags, and then we've got a decent big size cooler box um, and yeah I think basically you can see it look you can shift around things very easily and you get a lot of uh, space in your boot I think obviously a massive suitcase might struggle to fit in but I mean my, my top bag uh, is fitting in here quite comfortably and then I've also got a I've got a cooler box, I said two small suitcases, a braai grid and then my overnight bag which 
uh, just stuff in there and then we've got like oh my God, grocery stuff I mean you can see there's a lot of space in this boot so for a week in a way it's fine to the back so Mitias was basically speaking about the space and but it's still here you can see there's a lot of leg room they weren't lying uh, even if I chill like this you can see that there is quite a lot of space and then also obviously for the long road you've got this nice armrest uh, which is quite um, yeah user friendly and nice and your headrests which are, which can move up and down um, yeah We then took a drive through to Victoria Bay, we went through George just to take a walk in the promenade, of course it was quite packed because it was still the 2nd of Jan and yeah you can see the beach is quite full and yeah we just took a nice walk, a stroll right to the end of the promenade and back and this was before we headed home. Uh, if you want to know where Victoria Bay is, it's just before the wilderness, uh, it's a turn off you take after you, as you leave George and it's a cool surf spot and an awesome place to visit okay we just got to cake down now um which is off the end two yeah we saw earlier in victoria bay i was gonna say victory bay and yeah okay i'm shooting on <laughs> the iphone 13 pro uh one of the questions i got like a lot uh in the past two weeks is what do i film with this is the front camera of the 30 Pro, but I usually use my rear camera of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Because um, on the main sensor, there's that sensor shift technology, so um, that's quite awesome. Um, yeah, we. It feels like we actually went away for longer. I drove a lot. Um, we used about two and a half tanks, and I calculated we you get about on a full tank it costs. At the moment it costed about 730 to, to 790 um, rand um, for to fill the tank and then also uh, we got about 540 kilometers per tank before the reserve light went on yeah, so quite a few cargoes on the road which is awesome and then well they're very quiet at the back everybody's quiet today as you can see you, uh, you must speak louder because you're not using the mic Today. Ah. So they tired, yeah. And they drove a lot. <laughs> they drove a lot, yes. Um, yeah, so this actually I thought someone's gonna drive with me. But nobody actually drove with me this time around. I'm feeling quite <laughs> dewy, yeah. Someone done a good job. Yeah, no, I'm excited. It's a new year. Uh, happy New Year to everybody. Woo! And then, oh, and then, <laughs> um, oh, and then basically, it's actually quite a yeah, it's, it's a new year, and I'm excited because I was saying that actually last year was my first time going to in person events, and inshallah, which is God willing, like there's going to be more events this year and cooler ones. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be new phones, uh, new cars. Just now, obviously, they know that I, I wonder what cars they're going to bring out this year because. Like I said, there's so many cargoes on the road um, and the, there are so many drivers also we drove past and I actually like them in a the darker colour. Um, and then, yeah, if you're think, wondering what the driver is, you can look at the video. I'm going to put it here in the middle or up there or maybe down here. And then, um, yeah, the driver is the 7 seater affordable vehicle. It starts at 185,000 Rand and um, it's also a Renault. So I think this is like going to be super exciting. I can't wait for Renault to bring out the hybrid, which they do. And um, yeah. And that's the Renault Kaiga. That's a wrap. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.